I was hoping at least by, I mean, maybe this will get easier for me, but right now it's, it's not. <laughs> I hate being on video. I hate my picture being taken. You guys know this. I've told you this a million times. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you guys so much. Um, I would really like to be doing this in person, helping you out more in person. But here we go. Um, this is the color video for the Garden Fairy, uh, Garden Fairy, or Fairy Garden, however you want to put that. Um, the title is Fairy Garden. Um, <clears throat> so anyhow, uh, I'm going to start by doing very light colors. And we're going to mix colors. So the lesson today is this. Um, I don't know how much you remember from last year. We, you know, we try this over and over and over again. Um, and I, or we go over it over and over and over again, you know, with the seven elements. And the, the element that we're going to be using today is specifically, um, color. So when we shade with color, you have your opposites. Remember those guys? Yeah? No? All right. So opposites are literally that on the color wheel. It is red and green, blue and orange, my favorite, yellow and purple. And of course, everybody knows black and white is opposite. But, you know, when we're talking about color, black and white is how you add um, the shading. And um, so, you know, those are your goals in, in like in traditional art, traditional art, not digital, traditional white is the absence of color and black is the combination of all colors. So this is traditional art. This is natural light, natural color. Um, digital art is the opposite guys. Remember? So, um, White in the digital world is the combination of all colors, and black is the absence of all colors. It's just how it works. Um, that aspect of it, I'm not really sure why, but it's there, and that's what happens. Um, and because we're doing color today, uh, it, it might be a little bit more lengthy um, in the video time. I'm, I'm going to try to keep it again under that 30 minutes. Um, just enough to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking for. I really want you to push yourselves as what as to what you know with color. Um, and again, the more you practice, the better you do. So if you're uncomfortable with um, a mixing of colors, try it on a separate sheet of paper first before you apply it to your actual work of art. Better to make the mistake over on another piece where you practice doing a face and um, the colors you want to do on that face. It's better to practice it on a separate sheet before you make it a, a make it for your final, your real project that you're working on that you want to look wow. And by the way, you guys are amazing anyway. <clears throat> your work is off the charts. You guys just rock it out. I'm always blown away by you guys. So keep it up, work hard, and we can get through this. So now to the fun part. Uh, and again, as I'm doing this, I won't be on video, but you'll still hear me. Um, so here we go. And again, it won't be straight on for me. So please forgive me, but I will do my best. Um, I, I should probably do the skin color first, huh? That's pretty hard um, because skin color is blue and orange. Well, I should say it's orange and blue. Excuse me. Haha, <laughs> I got my water this time. Um, <clears throat> it's orange with a slight touch of blue and white. So, orange. Let's see here. I got all my colors set up. Just blue, nothing fancy, orange and blue, and white, okay? So those will get you a base, and then you can go from there, okay? Excuse me. <coughs> mm. 
That's nothing new, guys. That's just that tickle in my throat when I get talking. You guys have heard it before. Okay? Um, so I have my water with me. We're all good. All right, I'm going to put you down onto the picture now. Ooh, that was a big jump. All right. You guys see it? Let's see. Let's get you a little better oriented. Um, you do have to have it a little bit slanted toward me. But maybe I can get you guys focused in on... Ooh, sorry. All right, that fairy... Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. Okay, so because I'm working with such a small area, mm -hmm. also your paper for not smudging. Oops. And I don't have it, so I'm going to make a little bit of a mess over here, but that's okay. Um, you should do this over a garbage can or over something that you can throw away easily, like a tissue or a paper towel something along that line, okay? Okay, you notice how I always do this? It's to make sure it's not broken inside and that it's good, okay? But I gotta make sure my pencils are sharpened. Let's see. I'm a little concerned about that one. Let's try that sharpener. Right. Me and my 20 sharpener. See, it broke that one. So, me and my 20 sharpeners is for a reason. Alright, that one's not working either. I am not having luck today. <clears throat> messes, messes everywhere. Alright. I'm trying, guys. I mean, I have a ton of pencils here. Do I have another one of this? I just want this blue violet. I don't want blue violet. Mm, I mean, that would work. It's ultramarine, though. I really just want regular. I'm gonna try this again. success success all right see the difference between these two blues I don't know if you can see the difference between those two blues but there's a difference this one's ultramarine this one is regular cobalt blue this is the one I really want so I'm gonna put that one back okay I mean really as long as it's blue and orange for the skin color you can do pretty much anything okay because we're doing skin color, I'm going to go in with my white here. So we're going to start with our lightest point. And how I shade her will determine how I shade the rest. <clears throat> okay. Her little ear. I'm just going over her. Just her skin. Okay. Just to get that foundation of the white and then I can go back in. And I'm not pressing, guys. I am just trying to go over the skin area enough so that it gives me that foundation so that I don't come up with just plain orange skin because I have to be very very careful and your fairy doesn't have to have normal skin color your fairy can have any skin color you want but this shows you a little bit of how to make skin color. So I'm going to very, very lightly just go over her with a little bit of orange. And you're going to transition back and forth. 
between the orange, the white, the blue. It's not just a one phase thing, one layer. You kind of got to go in multiple layers here. So, are you guys enjoying yourself? Are you, like, really liking your time off from traditional school? I mean, obviously you still have school you need to do, but... I don't know, I miss you guys. I miss actually going to school to see you guys. That's just with the white and the orange, right? Now we'll go back in. And the blue. And we'll start putting in some of that shading. And again, like I said, we're going to blend it with the white. Just keep going back and forth. What? Okay, so <clears throat> I kind of gave you a little bit of an idea on how to do the skin color. I'm going to try and be a little more gentle and come down. Try to come down close so you can see that a little better. Okay, so that's how we're going to focus on you can do skin tone. <clears throat> Ooh, my tripod's falling. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to come over to the flower just because shading a flower, um, Again, we need to use opposites, but we don't need to stick with just opposites to do something like a flower, okay? Uh, we're going to, I, I want to do a corally red flower. So I've got to choose colors that would make that happen. So I'm going to stick with my orange. And then I want, let's see, I want a pinky orange. I have lots, lots and lots and lots of colors. So this is red orange. 
or it's kind of a pinky red orange which is what I want and then I also want my reds and then I want green see has a Crayola green it's still gonna work okay guys I mean, these are my, these are my, these are my good ones. You guys know what brand those are. Because I always talk about it. Um, and I think I want to use indigo. But you could use blue. So it's orange, red, blue. You guys probably have the Crayola. So it would be um, a little different for you. You wouldn't have this variety of color. But... Um, when you're mixing, oh, I knocked you down, sorry. Um, my tripod is being funny today. All right, here we go. What are we doing? Oh, that's why the cord is stuck. My charger cord to make sure I don't lose battery. It was stuck on my chair. So every time I moved. Okay, so back to the color. <clears throat> So with my range of colors that I have, I have so much more I can do. But even with just your um, your Crayola, you have purple, you have blue, you have green, red. You know, you have the, the, the primary and secondary color wheel. And if you have the bigger pack, then you probably have gone into the tertiary color wheel. And so... Um, you know, play with your colors, mix them, see what you can do, how you can have fun with them. So I'm going to go in, and again, I'm going to start, I'm not going to start with white this time because I want this to be really rich, and I'm not trying to mute it down like I did this, okay? This I wanted muted down, this I don't. I want this to be intense and rich, but I do want my foundation color, so... This is where you guys always start out. You know, you guys always do that flat color, but we're going to try and push it. But you always lightly start out with whatever foundation color you want. And for me, it's this pinky orange color. They actually call it on this pencil, they call it a Rouge Carmine. Which is a fancy name for red orange, a pinky red orange, so it's got a lot of white in it to start with. Um, but yes, also, um, this has a lot of linear veining in it, uh, the flower that I chose, which is a hibiscus flower, um, something I was doing for the play. So I'm just going to do one leaf because, you know, I really don't want to try to get this, um, this video to be so astronomically, I probably should have, you know what, I'm not going to do this particular petal because you have this stamen coming up from the center. So I want a flower where we get a little bit of this area that I've blocked out. That's going to be still part it's still obviously part of the flower but it's a different color so it's a more bluey black purpley center okay and again i'm coloring coloring in linear because of the veining so that's adding that texture naturally while I color, okay? So this is where that control I'm always talking about really comes into play. Some of you, and I, I'm not going to mention you by name, guys, because this is a video that goes out to the world, but you know I always go after you to control your coloring. This is why, because it'll help you naturally get that texture in there. So see, I've already started doing some shading with that. Just with the color scale of this pencil 
And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start adding some of these other colors, but I'm not going to do a full color with them. I want them to just help alter the color to the point where I'm happy with it. And you'll notice I'm not pressing at all, but I'm staying controlled. I'm adding color where I want to add color. Okay. <clears throat> This is the red. It's like a, a dark red. It is called Crimson Lake. And we're using, see, I'm just, I'm using different colors combined together to really help me with the direction I want to go. Of course, if I come back in with the white, it's going to help blend all that and give it a really nice, soft look to it. But you'll notice I'm not going down into this part with the white because that's got to be darker. So these don't, these are, as always, I tell you, artwork is not about being fast. It is about getting that result you're looking to get in the end. Okay, so I use that. I can come back in with this, the base color, I think I want a little bit more orange to this, I think it's not quite orange, oh what happened there, well I'm going to turn it around and use where it broke to my advantage, so that I at least get some use out of that lead, out of that colored crayon pencil. I, don't, I think it's like a hard crayon base, but whatever it is, I like I like how it applies. These are my favorites. Okay. So I just keep going in and working this. Okay, now I'm also, for this, I want it to not be so flat in color, so I'm just lightly going to bring in that blue in certain little spots to help with the shading. And this really helps give it that form, that three-dimensional look. And then I am going to do this. I'm coming right down in Okay, and you'll start to see, use the orange, because blue and orange are opposites, and when you apply opposites together, they really start to take on black. And it's proportional, so, or ratio, it's a ratio, so however much of one you do with the other will depend on whether you get brown or you get black. Okay? 
but we're having fun with colors, so it doesn't have to be overly thought out, guys. I do just want you to play with mixing your colors, but hopefully me showing you will help you. So I'm going to use my indigo. Uh, you know, this is me having a little more range with all the colors I have. Um, but you guys have, hopefully you have your um, Crayola colored pencils and you can go from there. Um, but play with color. Have fun with it. Don't be afraid to mix it. Okay. So I'm going to do that method. This, like I did with this pen, this petal, with the entire, um, entire entire flower. And then once I get this completely colored in, I will post a snapshot of it onto the Google Classroom so you guys can see it finished. Um, and hopefully, I'm excited to see what you guys have created and what you come up with. Um, yeah, and just have fun. So after all that, I'm come, gonna bring you back up because uh, we're still under 30 minutes. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, <laughs> you guys, it's gonna take you a while to get this done. That's okay. That's, you know, you don't have to do it all at once. You can do a little bit here, a little bit there, and 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 just enjoy the process. Don't don't stress yourselves out. Um, I know you have a lot of other work you have to get done too. Um, as do as do I. I mean, I'm I'm working on your next project um, in my living room, uh, which is the recycled. And I'm just going to give you a little heads up on this. Um, it's the, re so recycled things around the house. It's your recycled building project, uh, glue, scissors, just stuff you have around the house. If you, if you think you want to use duct tape, uh, maybe, maybe a parent can help you apply that in, to where, um, you understand, you know, don't just wad it up. I really want to see some thought processes on that. And I, I will have a video for you on that. Um, but for now, I want you to really focus on your fairy gardens and um, really, really practice using those colors. It's important in understanding light. It's important in understanding um, just artwork in general. But anything I teach, guys, really helps you in so many areas. Uh, between science and math, and even just understanding the world around you. Um, and on that note, I miss you guys. I really, really miss you guys, and have fun. Bye.